guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be doing a quick review and tutorial on some luxie hair extensions and how to blend in your chin length hair with these extensions now if you'd like to watch and see how easily i do that then just keep on watching so before we get started a lot of you probably already know i'm doing a huge makeup giveaway this giveaway is running from now until may 31st I'm giving away two full-size Kylie Cosmetics lip kits, some lip glosses from her, and then a bunch of makeup from It Cosmetics, NYX, The Balm, and a lot more. So if you click the link down below in the description box, it'll show you how to enter. I want to give back to all of my really supportive subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much. This is also the month of my birthday, so I was kind of doing this as a little celebration for me basically <laughs> definitely don't forget to click down below in the description box so you too can have a chance to win so luxie hair recently gifted me a set of their 220 gram extensions in the shade ash blonde so a little disclaimer before we get started is yes these were sent to me but in no way is that going to affect my honest opinion and review i want to give you guys a direct and genuine review of these extensions especially because i have short hair so it is very hard to find extensions that work for me so yeah just to get that out of the way <laughs> but yeah so they sent me this little box of extensions this is what it comes inside of and there are two compartments in here so the first compartment is going to have a test swatch inside of there and you can open that when you receive them put it in your hair see how it feels see how it matches up and if you feel like it can work then you can go ahead and open this compartment and inside will be the rest of your extensions but if for some reason this doesn't work for you and you decide no way is that my color or no way do I like the feel of these then make sure not to open these and you can send it back with so you have a chance to try them which I think is cool because I haven't really seen a lot of extension brands that do that a lot of the ones are if you try it they're yours forever so basically you cannot even open them to match them up to your hair it is what it is but these they give you a chance to see how they feel they give you a chance to see the color and if you love it then you keep it of course they do have other sizes um they have a 120 grams if you have fine hair and then they have the 160 gram set and that is for regular hair types or medium hair types and then of course they have the 220 grams which is what i'm wearing for people with thick hair or short hair or both and believe me i have both of those so these were really great my only complaint about them is that when i received the ash blonde set the ash blonde set is a lot more yellow i can show you a picture on their website of what they look like um, and that's pretty much what they look like when i received them so i did have to tone them down and instead of using a toner i used the surface pure blonde violet shampoo and conditioner so i got these wet and then i kind of just lathered them with the conditioner and shampoo and rinsed them out that shampoo and conditioner is very potent so I didn't need to leave it on or anything. I just kind of like wash them and rinse them and let them air dry. And this is how they turned out. And I'm pretty happy with them from the way that they did look. Now my hair does look a little bit darker than the rest of it. But uh, instead of toning these extensions to this color, I know that I am going to get blonder hair to match these towards the summer anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it and let it be because I don't think it's like so bad. So they do come with 10 pieces. There are two four clip wefts, two two clip wefts, one three clip weft, and four one clip wefts. So there's a lot of pieces in there. Like I think the first or second time I was using them, I got everything finished and curled and styled. And then I realized I still had another weft left. So lots and lots of hair for these for your short haired girls out there so i really really love them so everything worked out really well and i want to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to use these all you need is a can of hairspray heat protectant a one and one quarter inch wand um, a hairbrush and some bobby pins and or clear rubber bands so let's get started so I'm first going to start with my one and one quarter inch curling wand and I just curled the bottom layers of my hair here. And so at this point, this next step is totally optional for you, but I feel like this helps blend in the extensions so much better because when we have short hair and we have our extensions in, that bottom part peeks through, especially when you have these short little hairs like I do. And it just makes it so obvious that you have some sort of extension in or something. So what I do is take a clear rubber band and I kind of part it in sections and I just take this piece and twist it as tight as I can to make it into two little mini buns. So 
I'm twisting this tight, as tight as I can get it to go because we don't want it to stick out or anything. You can take like little pony tails or bobby pins, whatever is more comfortable to hide this bottom layer of hair. I just feel like it makes it blend in so much better. Okay, so now that those are in on our heads here, I'm going to take my bottom piece. This is going to be one of my three prong pieces. This one has some curls in it already, but we are going to touch these up. So I'm just going to take this and clip it from the center to the sides. And for curling, I'm just going to split it right in half, take a little bit of the heat protectant. And these pieces are a little bit brighter than my hair, but it's okay because when they're down, my ends are very bright, but up here, my roots are natural. So it almost looks like a natural kind of like balayage or ombre going on. And we're going to start from the top and go to the bottom. This was this is the same way you were going to curl your hair for any hair, whether it's extensions or your own hair. The ends curl faster, so especially with hair like this that's been treated. So I'm going to take my time and we're going to slowly curl our hair just section by section, and as we go, just tighter and tighter until we get to the end. And I know you can see the bun still on this side, so I might end up pinning it a little bit because it does tend to stick out a little bit more. I feel like it might have like more hair in it or something because this other one's totally fine, but yeah, we're probably gonna have to, whoop. And then we're gonna let it go, but we wanna keep it locked until it cools down so that it really locks in the shape so we can spray a little bit of hairspray into it it's gonna look a little silly for now and then while we're down here let's just pin that piece right up you could also braid these back two pieces into each other if you feel like they stick out too much for you but honestly keeping them out of the way is what's going to make this blend in the best now we'll move on to this piece and we'll do the same thing to this side that we did to that one Keep it in place in that like spiral Shirley Temple little look. Spray it with some hairspray to keep it hold and just kind of let it sit there like that. And then when we're all finished, we'll obviously like go through and make it look cuter. But okay, so this next layer is where it starts to get a little bit tricky because we do have a lot of the hairs around here that are short as well. So I'm taking another section, leaving a good amount of hair out for this. Really hard with short hair because when you have longer hair, you can leave most of the extensions like from your temples and below. But with short hair, you kind of have to add them up a little bit higher than normal to get them to blend in a bit better. So again, we're gonna start by um, heat protectant and then we're going to curl our natural hair first and then add the extensions. This is just the way that I've always done it. Even when I had long hair with extensions in, it just is easier for me to like get in the full style and have everything blend nicely. To have my natural hair done first than to do it while I put mine in or like after. Um, so go ahead and do the same thing all the way around. Just kind of curl these pieces nice and tight. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I am curling all of these curls away from my face. This is going to help them blend into the curls because they can wrap nicely inside of the extension. So we're looking absolutely ratchet right now. <laughs> um, so we're going to add the next piece. So I'm taking this and clipping it up top. an inch or two away from my head because I don't want you to see 
um, the clip or like where the weft begins or anything. So again, with this piece, this is where you're gonna start taking more pieces of your hair and curling it into the, the weft pieces. Okay, so for time, I've already like parted my next section and curled it as well. So now we're going to apply our last uh, few rounds of extensions. So these are the two clipped wet, and I'm just going to place them pretty close to the front of my hair, but not all the way to the front. Okay, so for the very top, parting it the way that I want it parted. For this hair look, I don't want to be super curly up top because that's not really like how I would style my natural hair and I want it to look like me. So I'm just taking sections, a couple inches worth, and I'm taking that same iron and starting more towards the middle. And kind of giving it just one good curl away from my hair to help blend it into the rest of it. take parts of your hair and place in the single wax. And I like to tease just this back section to cover up any of the wax like in the back and then we'll go ahead and do a final spray and I know that this side since we worked on this one before this side should be all good so I'm just going to take my fingers and run my hair through these just to kind of give it a more natural look I'm not anyone who wears like super curly hair so I like it to be a little looser more natural kind of finish I want to feel confident that when I go out in public, I mean, it may be obvious in some spots and if you're really, if you're a hairstylist, you're going to know right away when somebody's wearing extensions, it's just so obvious, but as long as you can't blatantly tell that it's fake hair, then I'm totally okay with it. So here's kind of what the front looks like. Um, when you have short hair, there are always going to be a small piece somewhere. It's okay. Um, it is what it is like I don't think there's really any other way besides curling it into the hair and tucking away the little little ones under here to blend it any better than it is so here is kind of what it looks like here is a side view so yeah so all in all I honestly think these are the best extensions that I've used to date mainly because I do have such thick hair, so the only way I can ever wear extensions is if I have longer hair that blends in, and the fact that I can wear these with ease, that knowing that my hair is not looking like a hot mess because it is like at my chin, it's pretty cool that they are thick enough to fill out my hair, and of course, if your hair is not thick, they have other sizes. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully this review helped you in deciding on whether or not to get these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter my giveaway and I will see you guys next time.